Hi, I'm Craig Summers, naturopath and nutritionist, and I've been studying nutrition for over 20 years now. And when it comes to protein, what I believe is that it's the most misunderstood nutrient. Most people associate the word protein with building and maintaining strong muscle, but as you're going to see, it's needed for so much more than just muscle. Protein is needed for the building, repair, and maintenance of all our nerves, organs, skin, nails, and hair. Protein makes up the immunoglobulin generated by our immune systems that protects us from bacteria, viruses, protozoa, fungi, and other microorganisms. Protein is the main component of our body's enzymes and hormones. Without enzymes and hormones, we would not last very long. Enzymes and hormones control the functioning of our organs and countless other functions in our bodies. Protein is needed by the neurotransmitters in our brains in order to think clearly. If you are a vegetarian, I'll bet there is someone you know who thinks that you may suffer from a protein deficiency. Most people don't understand that protein is made up of amino acids that are created from photosynthesis. In other words, all the building blocks of protein are formed when sunlight shines on plants. We can get our protein high on the food chain by eating the animals that ate the plants. Or we can get our protein low on the food chain from eating the plants. Plants are a much cleaner source of protein. And what do I mean by a cleaner source? Scientists use the word bioaccumulation to describe the buildup of toxins in the tissues of animals, including humans. Some such toxins are PCBs, dioxins, mercury, and lead. There are numerous heavy metals and countless chemicals that build up in the fatty tissues of animals, but not readily in plants. I choose to get my protein low on the food chain from plant sources for many reasons, but mostly because I value my health. There are 22 amino acids. Eight of them are considered essential because your body cannot synthesize them. You must get them in your diet. They are isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. All these amino acids come from plants. Many common plant foods are good sources of protein such as seeds, nuts, dark green vegetables, beans, peas, legumes, and grains. It is important to eat protein every day because our bodies cannot store amino acids in our livers for more than a few days, and not more than five days. If we go several days without consuming any protein, our liver will not have the amino acids it needs to construct the proteins that our bodies need. When this happens, our bodies will actually start breaking down our own muscles to get the amino acids that it needs for more important functions. When we eat protein, our body first needs to break it down into amino acids before we can get any benefit from it. Then the amino acids are moved into the bloodstream and transported to the liver. Our body's proteins are made up of different combinations of amino acids. Our liver puts together the right combination of amino acids for whatever protein our bodies need at the moment. If a protein that our liver is constructing requires a certain non-essential amino acid that we have not eaten, our liver will synthesize the needed amino acid from another one that we did eat. If our liver does not have the essential amino acid it needs for the protein it is creating, your health can suffer as a result. We also need to make sure that the protein we consume is being broken down completely. In other words, good digestion is key. If proteins aren't broken down completely, they can get absorbed into our bloodstream and cause havoc. Undigested proteins in the bloodstream will be attacked by the immune system because they are seen as a dangerous invader. When this happens, we create a food sensitivity or allergy. So to ensure that your body gets the essential amino acids that it needs, it's important to have a diet that's both easy to digest and contains a variety of good protein sources. I suggest that in addition to a good varied diet, we consume a superfood protein powder to ensure optimal
amino acid intake.